Hey plant friends, welcome back. It's beautiful today. I looked at our uh, extended forecast. Hi Smokey. This is my kitty Smokey. Isn't she cute? Nice fluffy kitty. Uh, I looked at our extended forecast out of the 10 day forecast. There's eight days of rain coming up. So I thought today would be a great day to make a rain barrel for my garden. From the hose spigot at the house, it's about 100, over 100 feet to my veggie garden. And dragging the hose in the summer is a pain in the butt. Carrying a water can, that's all, or a um, sprayer, it's just kind of a pain. So I thought having a water source near the garden, this will be low cost. And hopefully it'll just make life easier in the summer when I need to water uh, the veggies. So this is everything I need to make this project. I have a trash can with a lid. Uh, this is a 32 gallon trash can. I have screen. This is just extra screen from a screen door. That's gonna keep the mosquitoes out. Scissors to cut it. A uh, pen or marker to draw on here, the sh um, shape that we need to cut out. Staple gun that's gonna staple this on. We have right here, brass hose bib valve. A drill bit that's just small enough that this will thread on. Uh, this is a bulkhead union that will attach this in the back like this. It'll attach like that. Um, and the, this will be in the back of the trash can and this will be in the front for the rain barrel. We have some pipe Teflon tape, some pipe thread uh, seal tape that will help prevent any leaks. Also to help with any leaks that could occur we have some water putty that I'll put on the front of this and on the inside uh, to prevent any water leakage that may occur. And in order to mix the putty I have some water measuring spoon, clean container that I can just toss out after, and this knife that I can mix it and toss that out as well. I do have some extra drill bits here that I can use to drill holes in the top of the lid to allow the uh, drainage for the rainwater. So to make this, it's just a trash can. This is a 32 gallon. I have some tools on the table. This is not my idea. This is something I saw on different social media accounts, and I thought, well, try my hand at it and hopefully get a great water source for my garden. All right, so come on, let's go. So this is a brand new garbage can. I just got it at the store. I didn't use it for anything else. All right, so what I'm gonna do first is take uh, the bulkhead union that will be on the inside. These are just tools I got from the, there's another bird. Uh, these are just tools I got at my heart, local hardware store. So I wanna figure out where I want this on the bottom because there's grooves and such. I'm going to have this up on cinder block so it'll be up off the ground anyways yeah I think this part will be the best location something like that I want it down towards the bottom so not all the way at the bottom because I don't want um, any debris that could get in there and I want it to drain well so what I'm going to do is put a little mark on the inside I'm going to put a mark on the inside of that bulkhead valve on the bottom so I know where to drill and I'll just start drilling from the inside so right there is where I have my mark. Right there, it's kind of hard to see because it's a black marker, but I can see it with my own eyes. So I'll drill, start drilling a hole there first, just so it goes through the other side and I can see what I'm doing. There it is on the other side. So now I can finish drilling. All right, I got my mark right here. I'm going to put the drill bit in, turn this upside down so I have a little force to go. Ooh, voila! So what I'm going to do before I do my putty or tape or anything, I'm going to do a dry fitting uh, just to make sure everything will fit. So this is what you want. You don't want it too loose. Just tight enough to thread this on. Oh, that's perfect and i will show you what it looks like on the inside that's what it looks like on the inside right here the threaded piece sticking up so now what i will do is put the bulkhead fitting on make sure it'll fit so that's gonna fit perfect right there it'll twist right on um it's so thick this way i don't know how much water i'll get to drain out but I think that's okay. As long as I have maintained the water, at least here, there should be enough to flow out and I can just dump out the rest if I need to. So this should work for now. Now what I'm going to do is take this off. I don't even know if I'll need that putty. 
I'm gonna might try it without it and see what happens. Because that seems snug enough. Might expand and contract with the heat, I'm not sure. Take my plumber's tape here, wrap it around. That should help seal any leaks. Run it back through. Oh, I knew I was gonna do that. I put the tape on the wrong way. Look at, <laughs> that's what happens when you put the tape on the wrong way. It just comes right off. All right, let's do that again. Strike that, reverse it. <laughs> that's better, much better. All right, yeah, I'm gonna put putty on this. I don't want it to leak right here, just on the outside. We'll do that after. Let's get this part on. What I might do is put some water in and test it first before we continue on. Alright, it looks like it's working. It's not leaking anywhere. I'll take the water and can off for a minute. There's no leaks. I think that plumber's tape was enough. I might just leave it for now. See how it does, and I can always put the putty on after if I need to. Doesn't drip out super fast, but I don't have a ton of water in there. There, look at. Nice. Let's see how low it will go before it stops. Almost have my watering can full, still draining out. <clears throat> I can imagine it'll stop uh, draining when it gets to the bottom of that opening on that bulkhead valve, which is pretty low. <sighs> I want to say it's about two inches deep right now and it's still draining. So that's not bad at all. I love it. Still draining into the uh, watering can. It's not flowing very fast, obviously, at this point. Not much water in here, not much force, but it's still coming out pretty good. All right, so that's basically it. That's all it's draining out now. Whoops, I just bumped it. But I only have like an inch left in the bottom, so that's good. So happy. Let's go finish this up. I did notice there's a tiny drip right here on the bottom. I am going to put the putty on just proactively. Um, I don't want any leaks to occur doing all this work and not have it cold water would stink. Well, for the putty, I'm only going to mix up what I need. Three parts powder to one part water. And I said only make, mix up enough of, for what you need because it'll harden it sets pretty quickly. So this is going to be more than enough. Well, I am letting that putty harden on to the next step. So what I am going to do, this will be upside down. So this, I'm going to make this section here, the screen. I believe staple here on the top so nothing gets. I'm gonna drill holes in the bottom of this so it can drain through. What I'm thinking is this, these have indents on, not just in the middle, but on either side of here. So I might drill holes here and here, so there's no stagnant water. That size will have better drainage than that, I can imagine. All right, let's try the center one first. This was just screen I had from our uh, sliding door ripped, and we have replacement screen for it, so this just came off of that. All right. Be right back. I'm also going to grab some pliers because what I want to do on this side, I don't want to leave them sharp. I want to fold the staples back. Okay, so for this, I'm just going to hold the staple and then bend them back. I'm just pushing it up with my finger from the bottom so it doesn't fall back in. 
pressing it flat with these. It's actually supposed to cloud up today and get rainy this afternoon, so that's why I thought I would try this project today, but it seems to be holding off the sunshine. I'm not complaining. I like it. All right, on to the other side. Cool, that's what it looks like. And I'm just gonna cut out small little ones for these holes on the edges. I might do three on each. I just don't, don't want water to pool on the top here. This has been the worst part, just putting these staples on. I've seen people use duct tape. I just didn't think that would last, so I thought the staples, they may rust, but I fig figured it would be longer lasting holding on this screen than duct tape, but I thought maybe duct tape's worth a try, I don't know. There! Have a nice screen so no bugs get in it. Voila! And there you have it. Spigot turns on and off. Perfect. And then all the way up. We have the lid with the screen. I was thinking about maybe putting rocks in here to help hold it down a little bit. Maybe make it a little more decorative. Um, maybe so we could use it for, I don't know, hummingbirds or just to make it look nicer. I thought about painting the outside too so it didn't look like a trash can sitting out there. So let's go get it in the garden and see what it looks like. All right, there you have it. Just got to adjust the cinder blocks. I brought out a drill because I forgot I wanted to put an overflow back here. And the overflow I might use, I might end up doing a bigger hole at some point, um, but I might use for another container. So I might link it from this to another container. Just gives me that option. All right, let's adjust the cinder blocks here. They're too wide. I do did bring out the hose. I don't know if the hose will have enough pressure to get out to the garden, but I have my extra hook here. So I'm just gonna wind it up. Let's put this on. Okie doke, there's our rain barrel. How cute. I don't actually don't mind how it looks, just the black. I might put rocks on top yet. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Just if I have to clean it, it's just kind of be a pain in the butt. But I think I might need something to weigh down the top. And it'll be so nice because the house is way over there. So this is a couple days later, an update. Everything's looking great. There's the spigot there. It has rained yesterday and today. The screen seems to be working. It's catching the debris on top. It'll be nice to just shake that off. We haven't gotten too much rain, so it's not that full at the bottom. But it's raining right now, so just keep it for a while and it'll catch up. This is the bulkhead union here. Um, I feel like it should unscrew from here. I couldn't get it the other day. Oh, that putty's making a mess, isn't it? <gasps> That's not good. Maybe I shouldn't have used that either. I just dumped the water out so I could get a better look at this and see if I could unscrew. Oh yeah, look at <gasps> This unscrews. I'm out here. It's raining. It's been a couple days. I was looking at this um, bulkhead union. It does unscrew. I forgot plumbing goes backwards. So this is tightening and this is loosening and I was doing it the opposite way. That's why it didn't work last time. I couldn't figure it out. Anyway, so this 
piece actually goes on the inside and sticks out and this screws on from the outside and then this spigot attaches this way. It does have a rubber gasket so it should stop any leakages. I also brought out some more Teflon tape to put on here. Um, I do have to drill this hole larger. So this is one inch bit I have. It's the largest I have so I'm just going to have to kind of work with it. Okay, not a perfect hole, but I think it'll do. All right, well, that looks so much better. So it's not as bulky on the inside that makes so much sense and here it is nice and tight snug i still gotta finish tightening this the rest of the way but i gotta wait for stronger hands to get home before i can do that it's pretty tight and then yeah put the lid back on now we need more rainwater, but that's all right this looks good hopefully it'll seal it really well all right plant friends that's it for me that was a fun project um inexpensive didn't take very long, probably took me 45 minutes. Um, and that includes gathering up all the tools needed and clean up. Um, so very simple, very easy, straightforward. Let's uh, to be determined how well it works, how much water it holds, if it works well, hopefully it doesn't leak with that water putty, make adjustments. Um, if not, I'm not out that much. So I'm happy with this and we'll see how it goes. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care. Be well. Bye-bye.